hey girl let's talk crime so this is a lot so a few days ago this case had uh, come to what we all thought was a great ending so if you don't know about this story rudy farius was 17 at the time that he had gone missing in houston texas on march 6 2015. Now it was around 6.30 p.m. and he was out walking his dogs. They had located the dogs, but Rudy was never seen again. Now it was said that he uh, suffered from anxiety, PTSD, and then he had also attempted to uh, unalive himself in the past. And then on July 2nd, 2023, a tweet was posted um, for the Texas Center for Missing stating that Rudy had been located. He was safe, he was in a hospital, and he was recovering. Now, when it first came out, of course, I wanted to post about it because this is amazing. Wow, like this family has gotten their loved one back. But then it sounded kind of off. I'm like, well, let me just wait a minute so that I could at least get the full story and also post about where he's been in these last eight years and why now his family says he's nonverbal um, and that he was beaten and bruised when he was located. It's a lie. Now, days after this story had come out, people that live in that neighborhood were really confused because they were thinking he's not missing at all. They know them, know him as Dolph, according to one neighbor, stated that Rudy would come over and chill in her garage with her children, with their cousin, and he has not been missing at all. One neighbor who wants to remain anonymous stated that they were shocked to hear that he was even missing uh, because they often see him. Now, authorities state that they were going to be interviewing Rudy about where he's been these past eight years. And that's when they stated that his mother said that he was actually nonverbal. So eventually, the Houston Police Department, as well as Quanell X, had separated his mother, Miss Santana, and him to see if they could get any more information about what exactly has happened over the last eight years and what Rudy said was shocking. So according to Rudy, he did run away in 2015. However, he came back two days later, and that's when his mom said that if he did not go into hiding, that the police were going to come and take him to prison. And so he was scared. He didn't want to go. So over the next eight years, he said that she fed him drugs, that she sexually abused him, as well as physically abused him. He was tired of living like a slave. He ended up stealing her car keys, and that's when he got into a crash and he was found. The Houston Police Department did make a statement and said, as of now, they will not be commenting on the allegations against Miss Santana.